Good morning, you guys. So I decided I wanted to go ahead and do some vlogging today. And of course, <laughs> hubby decided to work from home today. So he's in his office working. And so I'm going to have to vlog around him working. But it's all good. Just wanted to wake up, say good morning to you guys, get my day started. As you can see, I'm having my coffee. Gotta have my coffee in the morning. And just enjoying um, the outdoors. I really love this time of year because in my backyard, the flowers are blooming and they are absolutely beautiful. I mean, I love the gorgeous, colorful flowers. I'll go ahead and just insert a clip of that so you guys can kind of see what I'm looking at. But yeah, I just, I love this time of year. It's already hot living in Vegas. It's like seven o'clock in the morning and it's hot as I don't know what, which I'm already warm because I took me a nice relaxing bubble bath this morning because your girl was feeling a little out of sorts, a little down, feeling a little sad right now, a little melancholy, but God is good. He blessed me to wake, wake me up and see another day. And I'm always thankful for that. So, yeah, I just kind of needed to relax in a bubble bath with some nice Epsom salts. And now I'm having my coffee. And then I'm going to kind of explore some makeup today. I got sent some new palettes from Nomad. So I want to share those with you guys. Just kind of take a look at those. And I'm sure I'll do a look or two. Uh, sorry if it's windy. It's a little breezy out here, which actually feels really really nice. Let me show you guys So these are actually some of the flowers that I have growing in my backyard These purple ones absolutely gorgeous. I love those and then I have some of these little small Red flowers down here along the walking path along with some more of the gorgeous purple ones. Oh, I love them They're so so beautiful and then over here I have these just like patches of different color flowers that grow every single spring summer they go ahead and bloom and you can see just how beautiful they are the yellow the red the purple lilac whatever you want to call it and I have some more over here which is just beautiful and then in the morning time it's really nice to just listen to the waterfall. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but just sitting out here is nice and calm and peaceful with a beautiful waterfall going. And then on this side, I don't know if you can see over there, there's some um, really pretty yellow flowers that grow over here as well. Just beautiful. And it's like these three, during the winter, they actually look completely dead. Like, they look like just sticks, you know? And so you have to kind of be careful not to pull them up and get rid of them because they're gonna come back. But my poor rose bush, I left, I was on vacation for a while and it's like that sun just took over it. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and try and prune it and see if I can bring it back. <laughs> bring it back to life a little bit but yeah so that is actually my view and what I'm looking at when I sit down here you know just relaxing in my backyard so let's go say good morning to hubby you guys so I, I thought we had the uh... you want to say hi I got glasses on. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Good morning. So hubby's working. Oh, yeah. Hey, she's trying to put me out, too. I just want to let y'all know. I got to get out here for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. Let's go up to my beauty room and get to business. Okay, you guys. I know this is a weird angle. And I'm going to fix y'all up in a minute. But right now, I just... I'm still getting my bearings until that coffee kick in, okay? I'm still getting my bearings, but I'm just in here in my beauty space and I'm like, you know what? I really need to just do a serious refresh, refreak, like 
I don't know, because it's like, I do really like, oh, I'm using my Fenty Skin. Um, what is this? Uh, cherry, cherry treat. But um, I feel like I really do need to just do like a whole complete refreak. Um, I'm really comfortable with the way it's set up, so I really kind of don't want to refreak it. But anyway, let's take a look at these cute little palettes that Nomad came out with um, or is coming out with. I need to look and see. Wait, hold on before I spill the beans because, child, I can't be showing y'all something that they sent me before they release it. But I'm pretty sure that they already um, showed it on their Instagram page, so... It should be all good. Yeah, 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 they did. So, yeah. This is, let's see, three different little travel palettes that they came out with as part of their Nomad Air line. Um, let's see. Six pan slim travel palette with mirror. The price is $22 each. And they are not limited edition. They are launching Tuesday, May 21st. Um, around 12.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So by the time you guys see this vlog, then um, they should have launched by then. So, And I do have a code um, with Nomad. I never remember it. I know it's pretty bad because, child, when I tell you that I use Nomad like it ain't nobody's business. So my code is Camille10. If you guys ever want to save a little bit of coin when you purchase your Nomad products, my code is Camille10. So you can save you a little change there. But let me show you these palettes, okay? It's three of them. These are the packages here for the palettes. So it's like a green toned one, a uh, kind of earthy tone, and then this one is more like cool tone. So let's look at this one. This one is the Canadian Rockies. So that's what the box looks like. This is what the actual palette looks like. Okay. And let's see here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. That's really, really pretty. And I'm in natural lighting. I'm sitting in front of my mirror. So it's pretty accurate, true to color, I believe. This next one is the Abu Dhabi Zayed. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Abu Dhabi Zayed. So this one, the palette looks like this. And let me not drop it. This is what the palette looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know if I'm going to do a dedicated video for these. Probably not. I'll probably just use one. Um, this one is Oslo. Is it Garter Moen? Oslo Garter Moen. And this is what the palette looks like. Really busy, but still cute. And this is what the shadows look like. And I'm really loving this one. Um... Like I said in my shop, my stash, I kind of been like in this gray, gray toned era with shadows, cool toned stuff that I'm really, really loving on. So I might use this one because <laughs> I'm really liking this one. But anyways, those are the three new Nomad palettes. And like I said, they will be launching on Tuesday the 21st. Check them out. If you want to save some money, you can use my code. But yeah, I'm tired of this angle. So honey, let's switch it up. So yeah, you guys, it's like my room has basically been set up this same way ever since we moved here for the most part, you know. And I just have a lot of stuff everywhere. It's pretty, you know functional for me you know it's easy for me to grab things easy for me to find things and I have a good amount of storage and I have a lot of space and room in here too you know I love the hardwood flooring and everything but I have a lot of space and room in here which I really like but it's just kind of like I have stuff all over the place you know I got brushes up here I have little decor all over the place and stuff but I don't know. I kind of feel like I want to do a refreak. I have my vision book. Do you guys, I know you, some of you guys probably do vision boards. This year, me and my friend Nacy decided to do a vision book, which is actually a lot of fun. I'll show you guys my vision book, but it's like, we really kind of did it like an arts and crafts 
a thing. Let me take this down so I can show it to you right quick. Since we're in vlog mode as opposed to, <laughs> you know, makeup mode. But my vision book really was kind of like an arts and craft thing. So we decided to do like a page um, just kind of like stating the things that describe us, who we are, right? And then, um, oh, I'm missing a butterfly, but anyway. And then we wanted to focus on things that we wanted to accomplish through the year. But instead of doing like a board, we did a whole book, which I loved it. Love, love, loved it. It was a lot of fun. You know, we had like financial goals and stuff, at least for me, you know, I do. Uh, my little pieces are coming off here. I need to fix that. But this one here is a page dedicated to spiritual growth, which I'm really, really happy and proud to say. I've definitely worked on my spiritual growth, but um, that is for that. What else did I do? Oh, self-care, you know, spending more time just kind of taking care of myself you know, and kind of focusing more on that physical and mental well-being, self-improvement, you know, learning new things, trying new things, setting goals, things like that, which um, I've been working on as well. I skipped this page because this one is a two-pager, so I needed more space <laughs> for this one um, because it's travel. <laughs> and if you guys um, you know, follow me on Instagram or anything like that. You know, I love to cruise. I love to go different places, do different things, you know, with my friends as well as my husband. So this is my travel section goals for this year. I have get outside more, you know, having fun with friends, going to different shows, you know, just really living life and enjoying life. You know, God has blessed me to still be here so it's like you know what let's get outside and have some fun things this one is my greatest desire um you know a lot of it is love me and my husband putting god first learning something new and so yeah that is my book <laughs> so far for this year and i'm really really happy i like my book and i'm pleased with it so yeah that's I just wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys. Kind of intimate and personal, but you know, went ahead and shared it with you guys. So hope you appreciate that. But yeah, anyways, back to the room. So I have my vision book up there. Um, I got these forever roses, the million roses that um, my girl Lily sent me. She gave me these, what, over a year ago? And they're still holding strong, beautiful, smell delicious. But anyways... Yeah, so it's like I kind of want to refreak my room. I just I'm not sure where to start, really. It can be a bit overwhelming when you have so much makeup. You know, I have palettes over here. I have palettes in my cabinets. If you're wondering what's in my cabinets, it's palettes. <laughs> Definitely palettes and brushes, of course. Um, So, you know, the cabinets that I have that have doors and stuff is just kind of to keep a lot of this stuff out of my view because it can be a bit overwhelming, you know, just looking at this stuff all the time. So I have palettes in here, singles up here, and um, over here, you know, I have my um, some of my Super Shock shadows hanging on the side of my bookshelf because I found these little holders um online on Instagram I believe and I just thought they were the cutest thing and such a perfect way to store my super shock shadows from ColourPop because when I don't see them I don't use them so funny enough I put them out and I still don't use them <laughs> but anyway I have more palettes over here some of my more colorful pretty ones and then you know just more more palettes y'all know i'm a palette fiend so anyway in my space i have a lot going on and so as a result it can be a little tricky with me figuring out what i want to do so maybe you guys can help me with that um 
I need to try to declutter, but <laughs> that's difficult for me to do. So we'll see about that at another time. Y'all, it's crazy when you have a lot of eyeshadow, way too much eyeshadow, so many eyeshadows. Um, lotion in my hands. Y'all might catch me out here slipping with some ashy hands sometimes because I wash my hands a lot, but putting on some lotion. Thank you, Lily. <laughs> My girl Lily, when she left here after her vacation coming to visit me, as usual, her suitcase was too full, too heavy, so she had to leave her lotion with your girl. So I got me a nice little Jergens Soothing Aloe Cucumber Lotion, <laughs> thanks to my girl Lily and her heavy luggage. But anyways, yeah, it's like when you have a lot of eyeshadow like I do, it's impossible for you to use it all. And it's like a lot of times... I forget what I even have or what I want to try and things like that. So it's like I will go through my shadows. Like I went through my single shadows recently and just kind of like pulled out a bunch of colors that I felt were really, really pretty. And I wanted to try and use on a regular basis um, and kind of intermingle with my, you know, daily makeup looks. But because I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup, it hasn't been happening. But, you know, I just kind of like did a separate tray here, if you can see it, of shadows that I pulled out of my collection to try and use. Like these are just some single matte shadows that I put into this little magnetic palette of some of my really favorite shadows, really pretty colors and stuff that I wanted to play with, even some neutrals, like something like this. Um, I could even, you know, travel with if I wanted to because there's a lot of different colors in here. I know I have some Adept shadows in here, um, maybe some ColourPop singles, maybe, yeah, I don't even remember. I'm just trying to see from how the shadows look but yeah even Davina um you know this is a Davina matte shadow really really pretty but yeah I just kind of went through and pulled out some of my shadows that I really want to use this one is full of absolutely gorgeous um like shimmer shadows single shadows that it's like I have and I just don't use because I only have two eyes, but you see how gorgeous these shadows are? And these are like all indie brand shimmers, just gorgeous ones, you know, and they don't necessarily have to be dual chrome and multi-chrome, but some of them are, you know, but you know, like these just really gorgeous, shimmery, beautiful shadows that I've pulled out of my collection. So it's not even like these are all of my pretty single shimmers, but they're ones that I want to use. I have these ones from Sample Beauty. I love these um, magnetic palettes from Sample Beauty. I just love them. They're nicely weighted, good quality, and they have the little magnets on there. So you just kind of gotta, you gotta be careful though, cause you really can mess up your shadows if you don't open it properly but they come off like this and then they attach, you know, they attach with the magnets. So like these, just super duper gorgeous from Sample Beauty. And I bought these off of Beauty Bay, you know, but they're gorgeous. And it's like beautiful, colorful mattes. Look at these, absolutely gorgeous from Sample Beauty. And it's like, I really, really want to play with them. So I put them in here and it's like, did it help me to grab them and use them? No, <laughs> but ciao, we're going to keep trying. Okay. We're going to keep trying. I had these shadows from Makeup Geek that I bought, I guess, before she went out of business. I don't know. Did she come back? You guys, is she back? I don't know, but you know, I bought these color color story shadows from Makeup Geek, you know, before she shut down. And I have, while I have used these, they're not my favorite, you know, formula wise. I don't recall being wowed by these at all or feeling like, 
oh my gosh, I can't wait to use them again. So that's probably why I haven't, but they're absolutely gorgeous. And I think they'd probably be good for like everyday type vibes and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I don't wear makeup every day, so <laughs> it doesn't really help me much. But honestly, for me, I have a fear. Of, I hate when my face breaks out. Absolutely hate when my face breaks out. I'm sorry, you guys are a little crooked. Sorry. But I absolutely hate when my face breaks out. It's like, child, I won't put nothing on my face if it starts breaking out. But um, yeah, I don't like to wear makeup every day for that very reason. You know, it's, it's like as much as I love doing makeup looks and creating content, if my face starts breaking out, that's it. I'm not I'm not putting makeup on my face. So on a more everyday regular basis, this is how your girl looks because I don't want my face breaking out. But these are some more really pretty shadows. You know, of course you could tell some of those are from Cleona, probably JD Glow. Um, who else is in here? Let me see. And I, from what I understand, I think JD Glow is like, aren't they reopening under a different name? Yeah, see, these are JD Glow's really, really pretty shadows. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Um, I think, yeah, I think they're opening up under a different name or something, but yeah, it's, um, a lot of gorgeous shadows that I have that I really need to just put into rotation. Now these, <laughs> I always forget the name of this brand and I probably need my glasses, honestly, but I pulled these because I never use these as well. And their shadows, they smell like soap, like detergent. But look how pretty that is. Gorgeous. And then, you know, this is the name of that. But yeah, really, really pretty. It's like just shadows that I really want to play with that are absolutely gorgeous and I need to use them. Um, so yeah. Now I even put these in here because these are so, so pretty. These uh, flower, is it flower beauty? I have the jungle lights, the desert lights, the garden lights. They are so, so gorgeous and it's like I never use these. So this one is the Jungle Lights. I've had this for a while and it's just absolutely gorgeous. This one is Garden Lights. I think this is the last, the latest one that I got. Look how pretty. So, so pretty. And just haven't used them. Let me do a little swatchy swatch just so I can see how they feel. Because, you know, it's like... Oh, this one has like a green tone to it. See how pretty? Hopefully that's focusing. I don't know. But so pretty. And yeah, I need to just include them with different look looks that I do because, yeah. Oh, very pigmented. The quality looks really, really nice. And then this last one is Desert Lights. So if you like these type of colors. And I'm pretty sure I grabbed all of these from um, Ulta Beauty. So, you know, I know one of them I had to wait because they were out of stock. It was so popular at the time. They were out of stock and I had to wait for it to come back. So, yeah. I know... Um, they have been pretty popular in the past, but I need to use mine, okay? <laughs> and then what else do I have in here? Oh, these are really gorgeous. I'm pretty sure these are Terra Moons. Terra Moon shadows, their shimmers are some of my absolute favorite. When I tell you I love a good Terra Moon shadow, oh my goodness, honey, let me swatch some of these for you. I know you guys are probably already very familiar with Terra Moon, but yeah, look at this. What? Like, get out of town. 
It's just like the beauty, the shine, the, you know, multi-color, the dimension. They're just so beautiful. Oh my gosh. This one here on top. Which one is that? <laughs> Let me give y'all the name to that because I know y'all sitting there like, which one is that, KK? That's this one. Gorgeous, honey. The cosmos. And that's what it looks like too, honey, the cosmos. Look at that. The shifting in the colors there. So... And it's like, I only got two eyes and I want to put all of these shadows all over my eyes. So anyways, but yeah, it's like I try to pull out some really, really nice, pretty shadows and just kind of put them to the side to help me use them. But it doesn't always work out that way. So we gonna keep trying, though. Do you guys want to see what hubby got me for Mother's Day? <laughs> he took me shopping for just a few things, not nothing crazy, but... I grabbed these. If you guys didn't know, I'm kind of like a Nike fiend. I love Nikes. <laughs> I love shoes, period, as you can see. Love, love shoes. Wedges, for sure. But I got these. His favorite team is the Dolphins. So I fell in love with these. I was like, oh, these are so cute. I tried them on. And yes, they were adorable. So... Went ahead and added those to my collection. Um, I have some more over here. Honestly, the ones that I like the most, I think, are these, like the Carolina Blues. These are a pair of my favorites. As you can see, I need to clean them. They are dirty. Um, ones that I grab for and wear all the time are these. I wear these all the time. They just seem to go... <clears throat> go with a lot of you know what I wear casually I go from one extreme to the other you guys I will um I can dress I can be really girly but I have more of a tomboy vibe <laughs> most of the time but I do love very girly things um so also these I got for Mother's Day which absolutely love. Cannot wait to wear these. Super cute. They look really cute on my skin tone. That neutral nude color. Really, really cute. Um, So, got those. And then, I kind of, as you can see, I've kind of like refreaked my fragrances. I'm not 100% sure that I love um this setup. But it's kind of hard for me to figure out what I want to do because I kind of run out of space in my actual closet so I just kind of put my perfumes over here for now but in my actual closet um I've kind of you know found it easier to just do like a perfume tray for like the week or month or whatever the case may be so the scents that I have chosen for this current month um are here this one I actually got off of Amazon, I believe. This Amber Rouge. Y'all know I don't have no glasses on. This one is from Zara. This is the Red Vanilla. Smells really, really good. Um, let's see. Oh, this is one of the new Jackie Aina fragrances. I am her. Really, really like that. Um, this one. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Black Opium, I believe this one is the Cherry. I can't, I don't recall the exact name, if it's even on here. But, yeah, this one is the Cherry Scent, I believe. And it is so, so good. What else do I have over here? I have my um, Kayali. This is the Oud Gasm Cafe Oud. One of my absolute favorites. I'm not even going to play with you, honey. That mug smells delectable. This one is... I just got this one. Glossier. Is this... Uh, what is it called? Glossier U? Yeah. This stuff smells amazing. Just like for every day. You get out of the shower, put this on. It smells amazing to wear just for every day. 
Um, I can't even really describe the scent to you. It just smells clean and fresh to me. So it's just one of those hop out of the shower, throw that on. This one is my Michael Kors. And this one is, um, what is it? It's the Amber something. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Sexy Amber. That's what it is. Child, and it is definitely a sexy amber. Of course, this is my Beyonce Saint Noir. And then I have here Juliet Has a Gun. So these are the fragrances that I pulled out of my collection just to use for this month. And so far, I'm loving them all. Um, but I use the Glossier U the most, you know, because I just put that on weird around the house, child. Um, but yeah, so just as I did a little shopping when I was out with my girl Lily, bought these child, wore these around, walking around in the mall shopping. They are extremely comfortable, but these are not for walking around in the mall shopping, honey. My feet, them dogs was barking <laughs> when we left the mall. By the time we got out of there, honey, dogs was a barking. So yeah, they're cute. Not necessarily for walking around all day. But um, I also wanted to show you this hubby got me for Mother's Day. And he picked this one out. It's just a really cute guest bag. So he got me that. And what else did he get me? I know he got me a fragrance. Let me see if I can find the fragrance he got me. So yeah, it's um a very familiar scent. Not anything like wild or crazy or different. It smelled very, very familiar to me. And I just really liked it. I thought the bottle was nice as well. So yeah, um, got that. And, you know, just had a really nice Mother's Day. Had lunch with him and my girl Lily. And um, it was really nice. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope you had an amazing Mother's Day as well. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and play in this Nomad palette. I'm really excited to try it out. I mean, I'm going to use this one, the Oslo one, because these cool tones are really calling to me. Normally, y'all know I would gravitate towards the green because that's the colorful one. But really... <sighs> Put my phone on mute, okay, because ain't nobody got time for that. But yeah, normally I would gravitate towards the green one, but we're going to play with this cool tone one. And I'm just going to speed it up because this is not like a makeup tutorial video. I'm going to speed it up for you guys and you guys will see the final look when I'm done with my face. And I'll give you my thoughts on it. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and play in makeup right quick. It's in my birthday yet, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Okay, you guys, so this is the final look with this Nomad palette. 
I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It was so easy to do. I just went in with this in my crease. I used the darker shade to create the inner and outer corners for the halo. I put what I was putting on before the shimmer is, um, what is it? Glitter glue, the NYX glitter glue. My container had a hole in it, so I had to put it in a different container. So that's what this is. This is just some NYX glitter glue that I had to put in a different container, which actually makes it a lot easier for me to use actually, because I just tap it on with a brush in my finger. But I put that on before I did the shimmer. So uh, for my halo eye, I used this gorgeous shimmer here and just tap that in the center of my lids. And it is really, really pretty. And as you can see, I smoked out my lower lash line and then I used this bright shimmer in the inner corner to give that pop. But yeah, so this is basically the final look. I think I need to make some memory on my camera because it looks like it's about to run out. But I just wanted to come back and show you guys that the full face. Of course, I'll talk about these products in my shop, my stash. But that Danessa Myricks uh, balm, the blurring balm, I'm feeling it. Okay, I like it. It looks really good. I could feel it, but it looks good. So anyways, I'll be back in a second. Okay, you guys, so I got some more space on my camera but it looks like I wrapped up just in time because I don't know if you can hear, but the gardeners here and you know, they get loud with all of the leaf blowing stuff. But yeah, so I tell you, I am loving the gray smoky, just, mm, I love it. That grunge look, I don't even know. I'm probably not even leaving the house. I don't know, maybe I can get hubby to take me to lunch. Maybe, maybe not. But if I do, then I'll go ahead and get dressed and comb my hair. Otherwise, honey, we ain't doing all that. We just want to try out the eyeshadow, okay? I'm loving it. And I had to put on some strip lashes because you guys know I said that I was using the individual lashes, you know, that you put on underneath yours, but I had to take them off. And it's like now, if I'm gonna be putting makeup on regularly, it's kind of hard to wear those with the eye looks that I like to do. So, I might have to give those a break and just go back to strip lashes for a while, but I like these lashes. They're not too much, not too little, and I've kind of been out of my eyeliner, you know, like upper lid eyeliner era. It's like I'm kind of like not really feeling eyeliner right now, so I don't even bother, but yeah, I'm loving this look, okay? I will go ahead and play with the other two palettes probably in future vlogs, but for this one, this is it. So if I get into anything else today, of course you guys will join me, but for now. But y'all, what I am going to do is I am going to wash my brushes because I hate when I do my makeup and then I go to do my makeup again and my brushes are dirty, so we are going to wash them right now. Okay, y'all, I've been sitting here uh, trying to upload some content to Instagram and trying to like edit and upload this quick little clip um, for this I look for Nomad. I'm trying to do something a little different. On Instagram, I really don't like talk in my little videos excuse me, <laughs> in my little videos and clips and stuff, I usually just, you know, show me putting on makeup or something. And then I kind of, you know, try to make it a little fun sometimes with music, but I really don't talk. You would think I feel more comfortable talking, but I really kind of don't. Um, I talk because I have to. And yeah, so I'm not sure though. I wonder if maybe... um content does better. It seems like they say content does better when it has a voiceover or when you talk in it. So maybe the voiceovers do better. 
I don't know, child, but this one I went ahead and just kind of talked in. So we'll see how it goes, but just I'll just show you guys um, kind of like what I did on Instagram. One of the new palettes that Nomad is releasing this week, they're launching three new travel palettes as part of their travel air um, line. And so they're super duper cute and I wanted to share them with you. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, it's Colorful Camille on Instagram, same as my YouTube, but um, kind of when I'm doing content and makeup looks, I post more on there. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think as far as me kind of talking a little bit in the video and just giving my thoughts as opposed to just showing the product. Which do you guys prefer? Which is kind of difficult for me because I can get long-winded, as you guys know. And on Instagram, that stuff is like short, quick content. Like, get it in, get it out, right? So, I don't know. Just trying something different. I'll see how it goes and, you know. But I was trying to get Hubby to take me to eat. He said he'll take me to dinner, <laughs> which is fine. But I still haven't eaten lunch because um, I've been working on this video. I tell you. When you start creating content, man, you're working on this stuff all day. I be trying to bring y'all some decent content. Be working on it all doggone day. So, anyways, that's it. I'm going to get some pictures together for Instagram now. and But this time I'm really going to eat. But I just want to share that with you guys. So. It's in my birthday yet, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the So you guys, I'm sitting in my favorite spot in the living room Where I like to chill watch tv or this is where i sit you know when i read my bible and do my daily devotion every morning or you know just kind of binge out on youtube while i am having a snack whatever the case may be this is where i like to kick it at okay and so as you guys saw i just heated me up some leftover spaghetti who is hot i put a little bit of ketchup in there just to kind of give it that little bit of sweetness to it because I don't put sugar in my spaghetti when I cook it. So this is gonna be my lunch for today. It's super good though. I have um, some lean organic ground beef in here along with some kielbasa sausage chopped up. So yeah. This is going to be real good. And I just got a little bit, not too, too much. I love these square um, bowls and plates. I ordered them from Amazon. I saw Jamima. I saw Jamima with some. And I was like, girl, let me go to her Amazon store because I love those cute little square bowls and plates. And your girl wanted some. So I got the whole set. It has the plates, the bowls um the saucers it's real cute the only thing i don't like about them is they're like super heavy so i feel like they'll be easy to break you know like if you just accidentally bump them against something or somebody you know accidentally puts it down too hard honey it's gonna break so anyway but yeah so this is what we gonna do for lunch So good. And I'm watching Chelsea Janae right now. I'm in the middle of her vlog. That's what came on when I turned on my TV. So that's what I'm watching. If you don't know who Chelsea is, that's Chelsea Janae. I don't know if you can see her. <laughs> can you see her? Come on, Chelsea, get in the camera. Get in the camera, Chelsea. 
anyway, if you know who Chelsea Janae is, that's who she is. And she definitely vlogs. And she has all the content for the girlies. So, yeah, I'm watching her while I eat. So, anyway, I'll get back with y'all in a minute. I'm going to finish eating my food and see if I can get into anything else tonight. Okay, you guys, so um, hubby and I are getting ready to go grab a bite to eat, and I'm going to change my purse. I've been using this DKNY purse that I got from TJ Maxx. Um, a couple of weeks ago when my girl Lily was here, we were doing some shopping. I love this purse. It holds a lot. It's very easy to, you know, to wear. You can do it as a crossbody. Or, you know, you can just wear it regular. Either way, it works out good. But I'm tired of it because I've been carrying it for like two weeks now. So I'm going to switch it out to this purse here. Honestly, I don't even remember where I got this purse from. But it's really cute. You know, I like the texture on it. And I'm trying to figure out, did I get this from Ross? Or... TJ Maxx because it doesn't have a tag on it but but that's the tag in there and I'm feeling like I got it from either TJ Maxx or Ross so we finna so it has two straps it has long strap and this cute little short strap only thing I don't like is a short strap I can't take it off it's attached to the purse permanently so can't take that off but it's not that big of a deal it's kind of a little cute accessory so all right we're good to go so this is what i'm wearing nothing fancy just something light and airy because it's about 80 degrees outside it's already um hot like summer i just have on some distressed jeans my comfy shoes these are my air max what 27s i believe mad comfortable like the most comfortable tennis shoes that i have and that's it i don't know why it's so hazy maybe because i don't have a light like directly on me but anyway this is the look for dinner tonight super cash okay so i'll see y'all once i figure out where we're going to eat you almost ready okay well i'm ready when you are starving <laughs> does anybody else ever have to wait for their husband to finish playing a video game to go do something because i tell you that is the story of my life okay it's almost over the game's almost over and let me grab an extra pair of readers because we get to the restaurant neither one of us can see so he trying to borrow my glasses he ain't got no glasses so um, <laughs> let me grab an extra pair so that we can both see the menu when we get there. I used to keep two in my purse, but um, sometimes I can't fit all that stuff in my purse along with everything else. But this purse is big enough. I can put an extra pair of glasses in here for him so he'll be able to see. <laughs> We'll be able to read the menu at the same time tonight, okay? Anyway. You don't want to hear me talk at all. Yeah, you can say whatever you want to uh, say. Just you know, should have heard the conversation we just had on the way to Chili's. You know what I mean? About what street to take. Unbelievable. But anyway, we made it. Let's do it, boo. And your song. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> 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 What you asked for? <laughs> That's what I told him. I had to throw some extra glasses in my purse because you probably ain't gonna be able to see. Them. I don't know, but I don't want you to see them. Yeah. 
to eat late tonight. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's his usual, you guys. This is with the egg rolls and the burgers and such. But yeah, you get chicken strips instead of mozzarella. And I think I'm gonna get the fajitas because I can eat those. Where's my jacket go? You gotta sip it. Really? Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. It's really, really good. Well, y'all, we went. We ate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't have a picture of what we ate because Somebody I, forgot, was real hungry. I forgot to take out my camera. And film what we ate, but I'll insert a picture and I don't here. Want you to fall. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll insert a picture here of what we ate. <laughs> uh, I forgot to take a picture. I feel stuffed. You stuffed? Mm -hmm. I drank too much. You drank too much? Mm -hmm. I'm driving, y'all. I'm the designated driver.
that AC blowing sounding like a thing on a um, giant fan. Yeah. Giant. Yes. <laughs> it sounds like them, them fans you put out to dry your carpet <laughs> when you had a uh, leak. That's what it that sounds like. You know, you deliver somewhere that you got a leak. No, but I said I, I used to work at Waxy, and you know, people used to have to to get those, request them, or I mean, we used them there for something at some point. The big dryers. So that's it for dinner, y'all. That's it for tonight. I'm done. This is it. I mean, I gotta close out the vlog. You wanna take them to the bedroom tonight?